good evening. Good evening to you. <laughs> Good evening. There are bands all over the world. Good evening. I've missed you so much. It has been a long time since I did not speak to you. I've been so busy. So, so busy. There is a lot and a lot that you are going to hear tonight. And uh, before we start, I want you to start sharing the broadcast. Share the broadcast in all the groups. Let everyone know that CA1 is live. CA1 is about to talk. Let everyone know that CA1 is about to speak. Share this broadcast in all the groups where you belong. Share it on your wall as many as possible, on your timeline as many as possible. Share it in all the WhatsApp group where you belong. There are a lot of things that we are going to discuss tonight. There are a lot of things that we are going to talk tonight. So start sharing the broadcast as I share the broadcast myself. If see a one is about to talk. Let everyone know that CA1 is about to talk, CA1 is about to begin. Before we even go deeper, there are, there are some testimonies that you are going to be hearing today. <laughs> As you know, CA1, many people say CA1 is a witch doctor. Not many people believe that CA1 is a prophet. Many people say CA1 is a witch doctor. CA1 is, a, is, a, is not a prophet. And 90% of people that come to me for power, for solution, for, for prosperity, for money, for politics, they come secretly. They, 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 are, they don't openly come. They hide uh, when they come to me. So it's difficult for them to come out in public and give testimony. But uh, I speak to one or two of them that are willing to publicly come and tell you 
how they become prosperous because of CR1, how they become how they became successful because of CR1. As you know, apart from politics, the issue of Eddie Galungu, the issue of Tishimba Kambuiri, the issue of uh, of Aka in the Echilema and so on. Apart from those things, apart from the revealing the owner of uh, Honey Bee and whatever they did that the police is hiding, the ACC is hiding, apart from revealing those things, this night is a miracle money, money night. Many people are going to receive miracle money. A lot, 2,000 people are going to receive miracle money. Listen, if you are watching this broadcast for the first time, you are watching C1 for the first time, I want to make many things clear before we proceed. Number one, I'm not on Messenger. C1 is not a Messenger. I don't have a private Facebook account. I don't chat with anybody on Messenger. There are thousands upon thousands of people that are losing money because somebody is chatting with them on Messenger claiming to be C1 and send money to this orphanage, send money to this, send money to that. I don't have time for messenger. I don't do messenger. If you want to talk to C1 for anything, it's only on WhatsApp. I don't have a representative anywhere on earth. I don't have a representative in Zambia. There are many people that are stealing money from people using my name in Zambia. I'm C1, I'm C1 agent, I'm C1 son, I'm C1 this. Anyone in Zambia that is claiming to be C1 or to be C1 representative is, is a thief. I don't have any representative anywhere. When you want to do anything with C1, when you want to talk to me, talk to me direct on my WhatsApp number. I have even pinned it here. Plus 277 if you are communicating with anybody claiming to be C1, not on that line, that person is not C1. That person has nothing to do with C1 and will have nothing to do with C1. Please be very, very, very careful. Be very, very careful not to fall victim of scammers, those that are using my name to scam people. There are a lot of them. They are in Nigeria. They are they are in Ghana, they are, they are in Zambia, there are thousands in Zambia. They are claiming to represent C1. I don't have any representative anywhere in the world. If you want to talk to C1, if you want to receive anything from C1, if you want any help from C1, send me a message on WhatsApp on that number that is I've already pinned there. Plus 277-8993-5144. This is the only number that I have. Stop sending your money to scammers. I don't have many people that say your son in Zambia. I don't have any son that represents me anywhere that is going to ask you to send money to them. Anyone that does that is a criminal. I receive complaints every day. People are being scammed. Listen, if anyone claims to be C1, or if you are sending me a message and you want something, for example, you want to do as I say for money, you want this, you want that, you have to call me on video. Request a video call first. See my face. Know that I'm C1 before you go ahead and make payment of anything. So be careful. Do not be deceived. Do not be deceived. I repeat, do not be deceived. Don't send your money to anybody anywhere in the world claiming to be C1 or claiming to have do as I say. It's a lie. I don't have any representative. Secondly, when I post something on my page, or even in the groups, you will see they have created a lot of fake Facebook accounts, fake, fake Facebook pages. They go there, they reply your message, and say, see, I want to say, write him on this number. It's a lie. I don't reply your message unless I want to fight you, unless, unless I want to mess you up, or unless I want to prophesy the bad part of you so that people will know how foolish you are to comment rubbish on my page. Apart from that, I don't reply to anybody. Please, I'm not on Messenger. Anyone that is chatting with you on Messenger claiming to be C1 is a scammer. Is a scammer. Anyone that is chatting with you on Messenger claiming to be C1 is a scammer. Like, for example, there are over 7,000 people that are watching already. And I'm going to be performing 2,000 miracle money for people tonight. There are people who don't believe in miracles. I don't care whether you believe or you don't believe. 
whether you you are you are born again you're not a born again what i want to perform is what i perform i i do it there there are, there are more than there are, there are thousands of people that became rich because of cr1 last year and this year they are going to be thousands again i perform what i want to perform because i am done of power i have power to perform what i want to perform i don't pray about it I am the dawn of power. I am going to perform it tonight for 2,000 people. And remember, like I said, I don't have any representative anywhere in the world. But before we go into that, uh, that before we go into details of this broadcast today, please share the broadcast. Let people know that CR1 is live. There is something very, very important that we want to talk about today. I don't know if Pote is already... I don't know if Pote is already around. Pote, brother Pote, if you are around, I want you to send me a video request. I want you to share your experience with CR1 before we proceed. But before we go deeper, I have been following what is happening in Zambia uh, for the past few days. And as you know, Zambia is a country that is very dear to my heart. It's a country that uh, I dream uh, about to be a better country in Africa and in the world. I've been following what is happening uh, in the alliance. Before we talk, I want to ask uh, Chishimba Kambudi some questions. I know that he's watching this broadcast right now. I want to ask him a question before we proceed. In the first place, the battle is not about, uh, 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 it's not a personal battle. The battle that we all have entered into in Zambia is a battle to liberate the people of Zambia. It's not a battle to enrich ourselves. We don't talk about riches. If you are talking about riches, we, we have it. And we are not selfish about it. We cannot continue being rich and rich and rich and rich. At the end of the day, where is he going to take us? The battle that we are having in Zambia today is a battle of selflessness. It's a battle of people that, that want to lay down their life. Even the Bible said it. There is no greater love than this, that a man laid down his life for the sake of his friends. It's a battle to liberate the people of Zambia. And uh, Honorable Chishimba Kamburi is aware of this. He knows that it's a battle to liberate the people of Zambia. And uh, what I am seeing now, what I'm hearing now, is no longer what is, what is supposed to be done. I said I'm going to address Akainde Chilemande Chishimbakamburi, but let me start with Honorable Chishimbakamburi. I can see that there is a lot of things that are not adding up in the life of Chishimbakamburi and whatever that is happening. I'm not uh, accusing him. I respect him a lot, like I respect any other person. But I want him to answer these few questions and clear the people of Zambia. There are, there are, there are over 8,000 people that are watching now. It's going to hit 10,000 any moment from now. A lot of people are watching from Zambia. I want to ask Chishimba a question that you, I would love him to give me the answer. I know PF. PF arrested Chishimba Kamburi because he forged a signature within his family, family business. He forged a signature signature of his son and he was arrested and he was convicted for such a small case is it possible Kamburi, that uh, there is a case that is going on where over 160,000 US dollars was stolen from your house from your house and PF they have heard about it. The police have heard about it. Kangaja have heard about it. And you have not been arrested for money laundering. Is it possible if you are not very close to PF? I'm not saying that you are close to PF. I don't want to call you Judas. I don't want to talk about you. If I talk about you, 
devil will shake. I don't want to talk about you. I'm asking you a question. Is it possible that you are not you cannot be arrested for having such an amount in your house? If you are not close to PF, I want you to stand up and tell the people of Zambia the truth. Are you eating with the PF and eating with the people of Zambia? Or are you with the people of Zambia against PF? Truly speaking, if you are with the people of Zambia, by now they have, they have arrested you. They arrested you for no case. Why are they not arresting you for having over 160,000 US dollars in your house? I'm told your daughter stole the money from your house and the others. 160,000. In according to the law of Zambia, because I've been there, I studied the law. It's money laundering. Why are they not arresting you for money laundering? You must answer these questions. Let me tell you, people of Zambia, I am CR1. I am ahead of time. I have already, when we are in 2020, I came to 2021 and told you that Tishimba Kambur is going to be arrested. And the reason why they want to arrest him is because they don't want him to stand as a president and they don't want him they don't want Shimba Kambuiri. They don't want him to stand as a running mate. They are going to arrest him and they are going to convict him. I told the people of Zambia openly. Exactly do I told you. Didn't it happen? It happened. The question I'm asking this night is that Shimba Kambuiri. Did you remember how Dora Silia insulted you in PF? <laughs> Did you remember how after you campaign, you single-handedly campaigned for Eddie Galungu in 2016? Did you remember how he kicked you out from the party? He treated you like a piece of shit. He treated you like a used tissue. He pushed you away. Did you, did you still remember that? If you are not aware, I know that you were in prison by then. PF government with their police stripped your wife and your daughter naked at the court. Are these the people that you want to go back and start eating with? <laughs> in Nigeria, there is a parable that says, if you have been beaten by a bee before, when you hear the sound of fly, you run away because you don't want to be beaten twice. There is nothing good about PF government. PF government is a rotten government. It's a useless government. It's a satanic government. Are these the people that you want to go back and start eating with? I am asking you a question, Tishimba Kamburi. I don't want to talk about you. I don't want to go deeper. I just want you to answer these questions. Edgar Galungu used you like a chala boy and threw you away like a fool. Is it the person you want to go and start eating with again? Tishimba Kambwe. This is the question that I'm asking you. Somebody say, Papa, the, the video is shaking. I'm sorry because I'm holding it in my hand. I like holding video, holding it in my hand so that you know that it's real. Tishimba Kambwe. What do you want to do with PF? Let me assure you that I already knew ahead of time that you are going to be brought down. You are going to be shaken and compromised by the PF. And the, I, I have always encouraged you not to shake. There is nothing good about PF. PF has already lost the election. I am coming to talk about this. I'm going to give you proof. If you are watching me right now, anywhere you are watching me from, you are watching me right now. I don't know where you are watching me from. Maybe you are watching me from Zambia. You are watching me from, from Nigeria, from Cameroon. From I don't know where you are watching me from. Everything that I said about Zambia and Zambia election, all of them, tell me which of them that did not happen. I told you in the first place that the way Edgar Lungu and PF is planning to rig the election, I was already in the system. Before 
I came out from Zambia, before I was deported from Zambia, I was already in the system. I was there. I know everything about the system. Plus the help of Godfather, there is nothing hidden. Everything I told you, I told you that they are going to register a lot of people in their stronghold. They are going to give opposition stronghold manufactured machine. They are going to give a lot of excuses so that they will register a lot of people in their stronghold thinking that they have won the election. Registering one million people from your stronghold does not mean they are going to vote. There is a plan that I'm going to review to UPND. This election has already been done and the UPND has won the election. I'm going to tell them how to protect their vote. If Eddie Galung does not leave power this coming August, they know that I'm, 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 I'm stupid. I said it. If Eddie Galung wins this election, I will drop the microphone. I will stop being a prophet. I know everything I've told you from A to Z. And I told you that they are going to convict Tishimba Kambuli. If Tishimba Kambuli is a wise man, he will have nothing to do with PF. My father gave birth to me and said, your name is Ezia, I meaning good name. It's better to have good name than to have money. If you have money, you don't have good name, you are a fool. If you have money, if you have power, look at GBM. GBM is now a fool. He has money, he has everything, but he's a fool. He doesn't have name. He's now a chala boy for Edgar Lungu. Edgar was a baby boy. Edgar was nothing when GBM was a deputy, a, 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 a defense minister. Today, GBM has been reduced from a minister to a campaign manager. And he's, he's, he's running up and down like chicken campaigning for Edgar Lungu. For what reason? Who is Edgar Lungu? What is Eddie Galungu? I'm asking you this question. Answer me this question. I don't want you to, to come to people of Zambia and pretend like uh, uh, I don't, HH is doing this, uh, UPN is doing this, uh, it's my secretary general is doing this, uh, this and that. No. I want you to answer these questions before you, you start putting blames. When I finish talking to you, I will come to HH. Why are you not arrested for keeping over $160,000 in your house. If you are not in good books with PF, PF can arrest an opposition leader for coughing. <coughs> you can be arrested. How much more when there is a crime? Why have they not arrested you? It means, it means, I'm not saying that it has happened. It means that somewhere, somehow, you have started eating with them. Because if you eat with them, you can commit any crime you want. You cannot be arrested. This is the question that I'm asking you, uh, Honorable Tishimba Kambuil. Answer me this question. Why have you not been arrested? Why? Answer the people of Zambia this question. Let me, let me tell you, pe people, uh, 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 people of Zambia, let me share something with you. Before Sata became a president, there was uh, an opposition alliance. Towards the election, few weeks before the election, opposition alliance got destroyed. People said, oh my God, it's over for us. Oh my God, we have lost the election. I said to PF then and to SATA, let's SATA, go ahead. When is your time? With or without alliance, it is your time. And Sata went and won the election without an alliance. By then, everything was still okay in Zambia. The biggest crime that uh, 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 MMD committed by then was the little corruption, selling of Zamtel, buying of a lot of bicycles, Little, little corruption, but Kwacha was doing well. The economy was doing well, but still, without an alliance, Sata defeated Rupia Banda. Today, Kwacha has lost value. The reason why it pains me so much is because I have to say this to you today. 
go to Pakro and, and discover that I still have businesses that are running in Zambia. Businesses have been affected because Kwacha has lost value. Kwacha is now useless. The Kwacha that we are bragging about is now one of the worst performing currencies in Zambia. Corruption has climbed. How much is a bag of milk meal in Zambia today? How much is a bottle of cooking oil in Zambia today? How many people are able to export and import in Zambia today? You can see that everyone wants change. People are no longer talking. Everybody is quiet. What they are going to do is in their mind. Those of you that are jumping up and down, PF will win. PF have a registered much number in their opposition. Did you see the local government election uh, that uh, uh, by election that took place a few weeks ago? In the stronghold of PF, PF won it with only but it's not even 50% with a little margin in their stronghold. On the day of general election, PF is going to be shocked. In Luapula, they are going to be shocked. In the eastern part of the nation, they are going to be shocked. All those places that they have rigged already, saying we have registered millions, we have registered this, we have registered that, all those places, they are going to be shocked. UPND is going to win elections. Listen to me very, very carefully. I am not an ordinary prophet. I am Sia one Jagaban. I live ahead of time. Everything I told you, they have come to pass. What is going to, what is going to fail? Is it just one election that is coming that I've told you that UPND has won? Eh? People of Zambia, hold your peace. Hold your peace. Hold your peace. Your liberation is coming. You are about to be delivered from the hand of criminals, from the hands of fools, from the hands of talks. Many of you in Zambia now are living in fear. You are living in fear. You are afraid. You, do, you cannot even talk in public. If you talk, cadres will beat you up. Cadres are becoming millionaires, building houses. People that are educated are suffering in Zambia. Hold your peace. Your time of liberation is coming. Your time of liberation is on the way. I'm telling you that you will not be disappointed. Prepare yourself. There are many things that I don't want to reveal. The reason why I kept quiet a bit is because there are a lot of things that I was working on. Your vote is going to be protected. That day on the election, you are going to see what is going to happen. Kaiser Zulu is going to be silenced. All the rigging machine of PF are going to be caught and silenced. I don't want to talk about the plan. Let it be. But I want you to know that that day, go and vote. Your vote is going to be protected. I know what I'm talking about. Jishimba Kambuiri. I am telling you, my brother, if you have decided to go into marriage with PF, you, are, you want to bring down heaven on earth. Those are corrupt people. Light and darkness has nothing in common to share. They are criminals. They are thieves. The people that are supposed to enjoy PF are slave queens, prostitutes. Those people that are joining PF, those that are sleeping with the minister, PF is a Sodom and Gomorrah of modern era. It's a place where you have to survive with your private part. It's a place where slave queens are becoming richer than educated people. If you are wise, you have nothing to do with PF. You have no place in PF. The only people that succeed in PF are criminals. Are these the people that you want to join Chishimba Kambu? If you don't want alliance, if you don't want anything to do with alliance, sit down in your house. Have nothing to do with PF. PF is a rotten party. Led by a rotten human being, a drunkard, a digalungu. 
Eddie Galungu did not change and he will not change. Eddie Galungu is a drunkard. Eddie Galungu he, he stole money from his client when he was a lawyer. A poor lawyer will tell you that he's not going to steal when he becomes a president. That is why he has destroyed the economy completely because of stealing. Rampant stealing. Rampant looting. Eddie Galungu cannot change. A lizard on earth can never be a crocodile in heaven. If you are a thief, you are a thief. There is nothing to, there is, you cannot beat around the bush. If you are a criminal, you are a criminal. If you are a drunkard, you are a drunkard. If you are a womanizer, you are a womanizer. Jeez, there is nothing you can do about it. Be very careful, Chishimbakambu. Don't join rotten people. Remember what Dorasilia did to you. Remember what Jean Kapata did to you. Be a man that have two balls. Don't start clapping front and clap behind. I'm coming to you, Aka in the My dear brother, let me tell you something about African politics. You don't understand African politics, my dear Echilema. You are doing politics like you are in America. <laughs> you are too holy, you are too gentle. Such politics does not exist in Africa. The politics of Africa is fire for fire. I wish I can talk to you and tell you how to do politics in Africa. There is nothing like relaxing in Africa. You can study the history of Sata and look at how Sata won election. You can study it. You are too gentle. You are too holy. And uh, change, change. It is time now to go fire for fire. It's better to be arrested than to have your victory stolen. I'm not going to allow your victory to be stolen again. I am here, but you must wake up and fight. It is iron to iron. It is fire to fire. I also congratulated UPND through my post on Facebook for the successful conference that you did. Everyone can see that we we'll have something to learn from there. But let me tell you, the people of UPND, Hakainde Chilema, all the leaders of UPND, this time around, it's not about you. It's about the presidency. It's not about you going into parliament. I said it before. There is nothing that you are going to do with parliament seat again. It's all about getting to state house. You cannot change Zambia. You cannot deliver Zambia from thieves by going to parliament. Your campaign must be about the presidency. Your campaign, those of you that are campaigning, you want to stand as MP. You want to stand as, what is MP? It's, it's good, but it's not priority at this point in time. Everybody's priority must be to make sure that the president goes and take over the leadership of Zambia and deliver the people of Zambia. Even if you have only 20 MPs in parliament, it's okay. What is important now is the president's People of UPND, stop being selfish. Leadership of UPND, you must minimize. Try and start patronizing everybody. Yes, pick up your call and call Kalaba, Harry Kalaba. Get him engaged. Give him parliament. Yes, I'm, I'm saying it. Because we don't need you don't need parliament. What you need is the presidency. Give him parliament. Pick up your phone. Call Nevers Mumba. Give him parliament. Pick up your phone. Call Chishimba uh, 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 Give him parliament. Work together. What is important this time is to get the presidency, not the parliament. It's better to lose all the parliamentarian seat 
and win the presidency. There is nothing you can do in parliament. You can't change anything. You are in parliament. PF is looting the country dry. You are in parliament. Talking in parliament. Edgar Lungu has destroyed the economy. Edgar Lungu himself is confused. He doesn't even know what to do. Edgar doesn't even know what to do. Edgar, Edgar Lungu is saying that people are jeopardizing the, the, the commodity prices. The food prices. He doesn't know that he has destroyed the country. He doesn't know that that dollar is now trading at uh, 22 kwacha per dollar. When he took it, when it was mere seven, eight, nine dollar and uh, quarter per dollar, he destroyed everything. And it's not a way that he has destroyed everything. He doesn't know that for you to import something from South Africa today, you will cry. He doesn't know that for you to import something from China today, you will cry because dollar has climbed up. Quarter has lost value. Edgar Lungu is not aware. And the people of UPND, you are in parliament. There is nothing that you are going to do when you have numbers in parliament until you get the presidential seat. So those of you that are in UPND, UPND leaders, adjust yourself. Learn to accommodate people. Prepare to lose uh, parliamentarian seats. Sacrifice some of them. Sacrifice to Harry Kalaba. Sacrifice to Chishimba Kamburi. Sacrifice to Nefes Mumba. Anywhere you know that these guys are strong, that side, give them parliament, let them contest, support them. What is important is the presidency. When you get your presidency, you've gotten everything you want. Please, I am begging you. I am begging you. I am begging you. Take this my advice. Don't allow selfishness in this election. All God is all about number. I'm telling you, even looking at the statistics that uh, 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 ECZ has released, I can assure you that PF has lost the election already. PF is already gone. They have lost the election already. But we still need numbers. So, you PND people, adjust yourself a bit. Adjust yourself a bit. Learn to sacrifice seats. We don't need parliamentarian seats. Now, we need the presidency. We want somebody that will go and replace Eddie Galungu and change the course of everything in Zambia. I'm not going to waste your time. Coming to Honeybee scandal, many people have cried about Honeybee. Many people have been yelling. Many people have been, oh, what? Honeybee, 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 Honeybee. These days, if you see anything B in Zambia, you run away. <laughs> because everything about Honey B is scandal. Everything about, because of Honey B in Zambia today, there are thousands of people that have been affected with HIV and AIDS. Because of Honey B, Honey B today, there are thousands of pregnancies, unwanted pregnancies, that young girls are carrying today. Because of Honey B today, there are a lot and a lot of health complications. In fact, if I'm to say, I can say that Honey Bee in Zambia, they have committed genocide. And they are supposed to be answering questions in court right now or snoring in jail. But nothing has happened. But let me tell you the reason why nothing has happened. There, there, there was a time that, uh, that uh, I'm going to be telling you in part by part the story is long but let me give you a small one let me just give you a little thing that you have to know about honeybee honeybee is a company owned by chilufia chetalo and edgar lungu is a beneficiary honeybee was not even registered on a working day it was registered on a saturday And in Zambia, I've lived in Zambia for many, many years. I never saw Pakra or any registration company opening during the weekend. But Honeybee was registered on the weekend. Honeybee is a company that is owned by Chilifia Chitalu. And what they did, 
is that they carried some Indian people and put them ahead and tell them to say, run this company for us. But behind is our company. Any contract that comes here, we supply, we collect our share, and we give you your share. Chilufia Chitalu is a corrupt fool. Chilufia Chitalu and Dedigalungu are the most corrupt people in the world. They have killed the people of Zambia indirectly. And what happened? The woman, the, the permanent secretary that was sacked in the Ministry of Health is a gay friend. She's sleeping with Chilufia Chitalu. She is the one that brings out the contract. Give the honeybee. Honeybee supply useless medication. Receive the money. Give to Chilifia Chitalu. Chilifia Chitalu gives the Digalungu. That is the reason why, even if you bring Jesus Christ to Zambia today to persecute honeybee, nothing is going to happen. I am sorry for the wife of Chilifia Chitalu because your husband has been cheating with you with the permanent secretary that was sacked. The reason why that woman was sacked is to close investigation. Nothing is going to happen to that woman. That woman is not going to go to prison. The court case, if at all it will go to court, will be dragging, dragging, hoping that they can win an election next year and acquit her. She, nothing is going to be done to her because she's sleeping with Lufia Chitalu. She said disgrace to womanhood. You sleep with somebody's husband because of money. You are a fool. Money is going to kill you. That money that you have eaten is going to kill you. It's going to kill your children. You will never, never be successful in life. Your children are going to be prostitutes together with you and the Tulufia Chitalu for, for exposing the life of people of Zambia to, to, to danger, killing the people of Zambia innocently, giving them S and STIs. Your generation is going to suffer. All of you that are involved in this, Shilifia Chitalo, Edigalungu, and the permanent secretary that was fired, all of you, all your children are going to be useless. Olumba Olumba, start killing your children one by one. Godfather, start eating your children one by one. You are, you are cursed. All of you are cursed. All of you are cursed. Prostitute, a permanent secretary. That is why. That is how can when you put your girlfriend, the, the, the current minister of health said there is a lot of corruption in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in 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 the minister of health. Tell me the reason why there will not be corruption when Chilufia Chitalu has put his his girlfriend is the one in charge. Eh? This is how you have a useless Zambia. I miss President Sata. During the time of President Sata, such rubbish is not going to happen. Edgar Alungu is a weak man. He's a, ma he's a woman that is wearing trousers. And is benefiting a lot. I want you to cut my finger. If that woman will ever go to prison, cut my head. She's not going anywhere. Somebody say, what about Chomba Kayoma? Chomba Kayoma has nothing to do with that. Don't be stupid. A young man like that that is struggling to survive. Do you know how much 17 million dollars huh, is? 17 million US dollars. The people that have eaten that money is Chilufia Chitalu, Edgar Lungu, and that lady that they fired. The reason why they removed that lady is to blind the people of Zambia. She's not going to prison. Those of you that we are jumping up the day Chilufia Chitalu was fired, I told you nothing is going to happen. He, she, he was not fired. The Edgar Lunga was there the day they were having a meeting to say, no, look, I'm going to do like this, I'm going to do like this to blind the people of Zambia. Edgar Lunga, you are a disgrace. You are a bloody disgrace to the people of Zambia. You are the worst president in the history of Zambia. What are you even doing there? Honeybee is a den of prostitution. Honeybee and Zamtel is the same. It, they are den of prostitution. That is what Ministry of Health, then of prostitution. Eh? 
the owner of Honey Beach, Lutatitalu, they just put some two in, uh, some Indians in front to say you you pose as the owners of Honey Bee. The right owners of Honey Bee is Chili Fatitalu. And the, the girlfriend that has been fired. Nothing is going to happen to that woman. I swear upon God Father. If that woman go to prison, then know that Ed Kain I will lose the election. Even if I've said it, Ed Galung is watching me. Top PF officials are watching me. The, the OP, Office of the President, the top securities in Zambia, they are watching me. I'm saying, if that woman go to prison, you know that I'm not a prophet. I feel sorry for the people of Zambia. I'm so sorry for you. But relax. Relax. Your time of liberation is this year. The Bible says in John chapter 10 verse 10, the devil come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. That is what Edgar Lungu is. He has come. They have stolen. He has come. They have killed. How many people have lost their life because of fake condoms? Because of fake medicine, expired medicine, supplied by honeybee? To destroy. Has Edgar Lungu not destroyed a lot of family? Has he not destroyed Zambian economy? That is the work of the devil. That is the characteristic of devil. Many people call me, see a one is a satanist. See a one is a satanist. See a one is satan himself. See a one is a satan. See a one is this. How many people have I killed that did not do anything to me? How many people have I destroyed? What have I destroyed? What have I stolen? I am not the satan. The Satan is Edgar Lungu and everyone in PF government. They are the people that are killing. They are the people that are destroying. They are the people that are having the characteristics of Satan. Share this broadcast. There is something I want to say now. Share this broadcast. I want to say something very important. This one say, are you a Satan is here one? <laughs> It depends on the way you see it. If you see it in a way that seeing me as a Satanist makes you happy, then I am a Satanist. You must be happy. I love something that makes people happy. Anything that people do that makes them happy, I love it. If, you, if calling someone a Satanist makes you happy, continue calling it. I have never seen Satan before. I don't know how Satan looks like. Share the broadcast again in all the groups. There is something I want to say finally. Share in all the groups. Share in all the groups. Let me say what I want to say before we cross over to the other one. I want to share it in all the groups. Pote, Pote, are you ready here? Where is Pote? Pote, 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 pote. Pote, if you are watching me, please request a video. Request a video. Okay, perfect. Aha. Good evening, Daddy.
Volume, volume. Volume. The sound is gone, the sound is gone. The sound is gone. 